Hello, this is another Goji Hamilton reaction video, and today I'll be adding to a good one. <laughs> I didn't actually plan this, I just thought it'd be a fun idea just to react to every Godzilla Kaiju, making every Godzilla Kaiju from Goji Fan, because I haven't done a Goji Fan 993 reaction in a while, so might as well do one. And this one's the perfect one to do, because I'm sure there's a lot of them that might make me rage. There's gotta be some that's gonna make me rage, right? 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 <laughs> nah, it can't be, right? Anyway, let's head to my good old friend, uh, Chris. Let's go react to one of his videos. Let's go back to, uh, Coach Fan. I'm going to be adding to ranking of every Godzilla Kaiju from Goji Fan 93. So let's be at, shall we? You should probably put Goji Fan 93 in the title so we know that the ranking is his, but uh, whatever. <laughs> just, just a my suggestion just put your name in the title so we know that it's yours. <laughs> Because there's a lot of videos out there that are literally named ranking every Godzilla Kaiju. And you don't want to be the one of them that's going to be hard to find <laughs> while well, searching it up. So you might want to put your name in the title, dude. <laughs> but that's just my nitpick. All right, let's watch, shall we? Also, this was a live stream that uh, premiered earlier uh, today. Saturday wasn't there because I was at work at the moment, but as soon as I popped this up, I was like, hmm, might as well be after it. So let's watch, shall we? Hello, everybody. Welcome to... Uh, this is something a little different. I'm actually um, trying something different when, in terms of content here. Um, but I'm going to be doing a tier list of every single Godzilla character. Um, cool. And this is going to be basically, um, you know, the character themselves. It's not going to be uh, every incarnation. This so is this very weird. Having a screen right um, there. In my maker. So we're going to go through very, and do a good old tier list. Um, and then hopefully so out of this tier list, I will then be dimensions. able to sort of do so a top 10 um, of my Godzilla care of my favorite Godzilla characters that that I've done. So. Um, again, this is a new style of content. Oh, so I don't I... really know what's going to happen with this. I don't know if I'll keep on doing it like this. We'll just have to see. So I just thought this might be a fun thing. So a little, little bit of a test run here. Um, okay, so... Also, I might do a future video on this same tier list that Goji Fan made. Maybe shortly right after this video comes out. I'll probably do the same tier list that Goji Fan made and probably try to do my own tier list of what I think of my personal favorite kaiju because I haven't done that on my channel yet. And that would be interesting to do because I do... This is technically a Godzilla channel, so... <laughs> Even though I've done a lot of big metal and band reactions, but eh, it doesn't matter. Most reactions, but... That would be... I would like to do another cuts the topic. So I might do like a tier of us on this. Also, why do you use show and make cuts? We all know your favorite's key. Why didn't you use an image of key? That makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> you know your favorite is key. Why are you using show and make cut? Whatever. Alphabet Soup, what's up? Dylan Shanley, uh, what's up? Reptile7876, what's up? Nadu, yo, what's up, everybody? What is up? Okay, uh, yeah, let's get, let's, uh, let's get, hey, Monster Report is here. What's up, man? <laughs> Nick Adam Pauline is in the house from the Monster Report. That's awesome. All right, so um, I think I'll wait a little, maybe I'll wait a little bit more. Let me know if audio is sounding good, um, if everything is coming out clear. Um, if you guys can hear a little bit of the music, I have some I have some Battle Legends music playing on right now because I love that soundtrack. Um, yeah, I love boy, that sound. what's well, up? I've only what played it up? once. All right. 
Um, yeah, I thought that it. Olaf uh, Slayer, yeah. seventy-two. Hey, hey. It was a fun experience. Okay, guys. I think uh, let's just start. Let's start. Let's let's get this ball rolling here. So, um, okay. Obviously, um, at first. Uh, oh, hold on. Wait, my. Uh, of course, my my playback is all of a sudden going weird here. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, hold on. It's my streaming. I had to change my streaming stuff. Um, so let me quickly go over that first. Um, let's see. Kiryu and Kim Kamakras are objectively S tier. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. Kiryu is actually going to count as just Mecha Godzilla. Um, it's not going to be his own like section. So, all right, let me change. I'm Why? Because uh, all the Mecha Godzilla right are here the, because OBS is with their own that, inclination. So, uh, well, YouTube was telling me actually that I was having some issues. So Why? Hopefully that worked. Okay. The giant octopus and giant lizard. Those aren't added because technically, in my opinion, they're not. They're not really like kaiju, you know, in in terms of this stuff. So, Goji Lo, uh, Goji LOL, Gorgir from the Black Abyss. What's up? Um, okay, perfect. Let's get started. I think I think I can get started. Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, obviously, we have Godzilla, of course. I mean, I mean, this is just we're just gonna have to put him in. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, of course, this is Esther. I love Godzilla. No, no, um, no, it's kind of cheap, too. I mean, it's like, no, to be bad, he's Godzilla's an F. No, I'm just kidding. He's, of course, Godzilla goes in Esther. I think Godzilla's the best kaiju out there. So, we got that one, right? That, that was a good one. <laughs> I'll probably make the same joke too, but eh. <laughs> like, you know, obviously um, he doesn't, he won't really count in terms of the top 10, obviously. Cause it's like favorite Godzilla characters. Godzilla can't really be in that list, but um, yeah, if I, yeah, alphabet soup, if I did all the incarnations, we'd be here for hours. Yeah. And there are lists that do that. And maybe one day I will go through like all the incarnations of the different characters. But for right now, I just wanted to give my, um, favorite monsters of the franchise. So, Valerie Gothic, what's up? All right. Um, cool. Okay, let's bring the, I want to bring the music up a little bit more because I really want the, the music to pop for you guys. So, okay. All right, next is Angus. Now, some of these pictures that I picked music are kind is of dropped little... out, so sorry about that, but we can uh, tell that this is Angus. Um, now, Angus is, I mean, he's one of my all-time favorite characters. Uh, I Angerus is I I love Angerus. He's got to go nest here. Um, I am dying one day for them to put Angerus in the MonsterVerse, or if yeah, I would else, love to see him. Happy that he was in a singular point to see. I would love to again, see Angerus in the MonsterVerse. Um, definitely S tier for Angerus that, for sure. That ain't happening. Um, Godzilla cartoon sci-fi horror fan 2K. What's up? Angerus is always yeah. Dead um, so yeah, Angerus definitely S tier. Love him. Time, love him. Love him. So. Um, now Kong, of course, technically not a Godzilla character, but I'm only using him because he was in 1962 so technically and and also Godzilla versus Kong in the monster verse so technically Kong is you know in there but we're looking at him from the stance of how he was in the Godzilla movies and I do like Kong uh in in 1962 I love Godzilla or King Kong versus Godzilla that movie is so entertaining but the Godzilla versus Kong version of him he's also great as well so i'm i'm gonna put him in great uh, not s tier because i don't love kong i'm not a huge like a giant kong fan but kong is great especially in the movies that he is in that feature godzilla so i i think that that's you know yeah that's, i so. would pick kong Daniel g2000 what's up man i wouldn't um, pick okay kong next we have mothra now a lot of you guys know that i have like um, kong you i know i'm not a huge like, fan of mothra think... actually if i'm being completely honest <laughs> this is gonna get a lot of hate i uh um hmm. <sighs> i'll put him at b yeah I still like Kong, but I wouldn't say he's one of the greatest. I wouldn't say he's up there, but he has one of the best kaijus out there. Uh, don't get me wrong, Kong is a classic, but I just think he's talked about way too much. He is way too overrated, in my opinion. I think Kong way too overrated. I think his films besides 
most besides a handful of three of them, maybe well, this film's all good. Besides, if you want to, I mean, I love King Kong versus Godzilla. That was a fun ride, and GVK was a disappointing wreck. Kong Squad was the best, probably the best Kong film. Peter Jackson Kong is I have mixed feelings on. The only thing I like about that movie is a T-Rex fight. Anything else I really don't like. Um, the King Kong from the 70s and 80s are bad. Um, King Kong escapes. Uh, it's goofy and cheesy and weird and Very, very cheesy, and Sun Kong we don't speak of, and King Kong 1993, I think, is an overrated film. I Don't get me wrong, it's not bad in any way, but I do think it's overrated. But, I, I don't know, I'm, I wouldn't put him in A, though. He's not as great as people say he is. I would put him in B, to be honest. I wouldn't put him in A. I agree with Anguirus being S and Godzilla being S and Kong being in A, but not Kong being A. I don't agree with that. I think he, I like Kong, but I wouldn't consider him great. I wouldn't consider him like A tier or S tier. I'd probably put him in B. Uh, Mothra has never been my all-time favorite character, and I think I get kind of annoyed with her because she she loves to better put her in like ass. pop into every Godzilla movie, and it's no, it's kind of annoying and tedious how no. she just you know decides no. to <laughs> push herself into every movie. Um, Don't you dare! But I've, you know, I, I'm gonna put her at B. I like Mothra, <laughs> and especially when it comes to no um, the MonsterVerse Mothra, that's actually probably my favorite incarnation. No, um, is, no, is definitely that version. Okay, to be fair, I do know Chris said in the past before that he doesn't, that he's not the biggest fan of Mafia. But uh, I would have put her in an S. To be honest, I love Mafia, even though she's in way too many films. I do love Mafia. <laughs> I don't know. It's because she's the only. I don't know. I don't know. I just have a charm to Martha. I think I just love her films that she's in, except for except for one, maybe two. Like out of all the Martha films, most of them are good, except for two, being ever Hall of the Deep and um. Of all the films she's in, there's only like two duds in them. Really, only two duds, and that's not bad. But I love Mafia. She is probably the best character, and there's a reason why they bring her back a lot. So, sue me. I would have put her in S tier, to be honest. Version, I think they did an amazing job with Mafia. Okay, I'm Mothra, just gonna so. keep on pausing. Um, Ultra Zero Second, what's up? Okay. Um, let's go back. Let's see. Keep on seeing how this looks. Okay. Next up, we have Rodan. Um, you know, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be tricky with Rodan because Rodan, same similar to Mothra, Rodan's actually never been a major favorite of mine. Mothra has always been sort of, or I mean, Rodan has always been sort of just. I, I my gut is saying indifferent, but I know that there are so many Rodan fans, and they would kill me if i put him in a c so i'll I put him in the b i like road i wouldn't i'm not one of them uh okay i'm gonna get a lot of hate for this i'm not the biggest rodan fan yep i'm not the biggest rodan fan i love him the only ones i like i hate the show of rodan i don't like the show of rodan i think he's i think he's not not very memorable at all. 
I don't. I think his film is pretty boring. I think his film is way too boring, and I'm not the biggest fan of Rodan. I'm not. I just think it's way too boring. I'm not the biggest fan of that movie. I think it's too boring. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, not the biggest fan of the show of Rodan. They did a better job with him in the Heisei era. And then and the Millennium era. I love his Heisei and Millennium era. That's why I remember Rodan from. But the show of Rodan... Yeah... Um, nah, I think those needs to go. I think those don't need to be talked about. The show of Rodan is, nah, just nah. Show of Rodan is not good, in my opinion. I do not like show of Rodan. I, I think Rodan peaked in the Heisei era. Like, my favorite Rodan is probably the Heisei era Rodan. Well, maybe not the Heisei era of Rodan. Nah, it's a Heisei era of Rodan. Heisei era of Rodan is probably my favorite Rodan. I just love that version of Rodan. It's, well, it's between a Heisei era of Rodan and... Well, no, not really. I would say the Monster vs. Rodan, but I think that's my second favorite Rodan. Heisei era of Rodan is probably my favorite Rodan out of all of them. I just love the design of the Heisei of Rodan and how much powerful this Rodan is compared to the show of counterpart and how cool this Rodan is. I love that version of Rodan more than... I think Heisei of Rodan is probably peak. But Rodan as a whole... If... If I'm being honest, uh, I probably put him at okay. Maybe uh, my gut saying I'm indifferent about him, but uh, I probably put him at the same ranking as Chris. Like I like Rodan, but I'm not the fan of the. But if this was Incarnations, Heisei Rodan would probably be an S Millennium. Because this is different when it comes to Rodan. Rodan, as a character, I like. But if it's Incarnations we're talking about, that's a totally different story. Because once you put Incarnations, yeah, this series was totally different. Because Heisei Rodan... I love, I love the Heisei Rodan, and I love the Millennium Rodan. The other Rodans, not so much, but those two Rodans are peak Rodan for me. Monster vs. Rodan, I think he has a cool, one cool scene, and that's about it. Then they just ruin him. He has one cool scene, and that's about it. They ruin him. They sh- he shows up, has a cool scene. The best scene in the movie, and then once he meets Ghidorah, they ruin him. Pretty sad. Yeah. Once he meets Ghidorah, they ruin him. Once he fights and loses to Ghidorah, you would think that he would actually wait until Godzilla shows up. That would have been meant for better writing. But nope, Rodan just decides to team up with Ghidorah. Yep, that's Rodan for you. But no, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the Monster Force Rodan. Don't get me wrong, I have no problems with the Monster Force Rodan, but I don't know. Looking at Rodan as a character, I like. But if you put the incarnations... If you separate them into incarnations, that it will be totally different because the show of Rodan I'll put at indifference. Monster vs. Rodan I'll probably put at like. 
and Heisei and Millennium Modan, I would put at S tier, the perfect in every way. <laughs> and um, and the other Modans, the single point Modans, I don't really care much for. The, I really don't. I'm indifferent with them, I guess. I don't really don't know what to say about them. Both that said. Rodan. I like him, but I've never been a giant fan of him. So there's that. Um, it's more like Sysmanis in the video. Okay. So it's uh, video. Let's see here. <laughs> King Ghidorah, of course. I mean, that's an S tier. King Ghidorah is like awesome. Um, no, again, it's, uh, Monster vs. King Ghidorah no matter probably what. is my favorite next to the GMK Ghidorah, I would say. No. Um, I also Monster vs. Ghidorah is the best. Um, King, you're what wrong. Was it? What was the, Grand Stop King lying Ghidorah to yourself, Chris. You know Monster vs. Ghidorah um, You know, but King Ghidorah himself as a character is is just phenomenal. I freaking love King Ghidorah. Uh, how can you not? Um, he's definitely S tier for sure. So, um, Ibra. Okay. <laughs> I dislike Ibra. I'm not a fan of Ibra. Um, he's in probably one of my least favorite movies. I, I am not a fan of the sea monster. Um, and and Ibra agreed. Ibra, well, he's not in my least favorite movie of Godzilla. That one goes to Godzilla's Revenge. But I would consider him. I would say I would put him in D. I don't hate him, but I don't like him either. I dislike him. I don't like Ibra at all. I think he's pretty weak. He's a shrimp lobster thingy whatever he is a shrimp lobster bro is just like he's just a giant lobster there's not much to him i i of course like ibra in terms of the uh in terms of uh final wars i think ibra looked a little better in that one um hence his picture right there most of these pictures obviously are are actually the modern like their their latest looks i guess um i, I don't know but um i don't know I, I just dislike Ibra. He's this is not not it for me. Um, the, the giant condor. Now I see a lot of you guys are putting giant condor for S tier, but I, I hate the giant condor. I think it's like the one of the one of the least <gasps> characters have you. done. Get some help. Giant condor is like S, honestly pointless. S, but S, I had to put him in S, this S, list because I know people would I'm, ask I'm about kidding, it. So I'm kidding. No, giant condor is F. So. Come boy, my friend loves Ibra, and I'm going to show him this. I mean, I know that there's some fans that love Ibra, and I know that there are a lot of fans that like the Sea Monster movie, but I'm just not one of them. I, I can't. That movie. You're not wrong. I'm not. That. You're not the only um, one so, who doesn't love um, that okay, movie. Okay, Vanilla. The sun. The uh, well, the show son of Godzilla. Um. It it it's a it's it's a toss up, it's a toss up between these two uh sections. There are times when I really hate Minya, but then there are other times where I'm like, I don't hate him because hate's a very strong word, but I dislike Minya though. But I think, I think the Final Wars Manila, not gonna lie, saves it for me where he's a dislike at least, um, only because the scenes where Minya is in Final Wars where he's like driving the car and all that stuff, like it's funny, like it is funny. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to like the show of Minya, I can't, I can't stand that thing. I, I burn that thing. So yeah, yeah. burn it. Um, hey guys, forty nine fifty one. What's up? Okay, my um, funny, but... Let's see. Let me look more at my activity here. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, Gamakaris. Um, I'm indifferent with Gamakaris. Gamakaris is has just always been a character that I've just been like, okay, cool. I mean, he's, yeah, you know. <laughs> Again, I'm about you it, actually have, like, being nice with Gamakris. I I hate uh, yeah, Gamakris. is all right. It's just another. It, book I, I, I don't have any. I don't from. like. Uh, yes, I do. No, no it's, giant leech from 1984 as well. Because again, I don't consider. It's just that a another. Monster. I don't consider, well. It is a monster, but How I don't consider him like one of the the top character, like a kaiju. You know, like he's not. He's. It just doesn't really count. I mean, you could also say like, why didn't I put? the man eater from Godzilla's revenge, right? That, that guy that's in like the, the leaf suit or whatever, like technically that's a monster, I guess, when you look at the Wikizilla, 
but I don't consider it that. So again, this is my own curated list. So I'm not like, you know, this is just, again, it's my opinion. The man eater. Thing, so, um, that's okay. a monster. Uh, okay. Kumonga. The fuck um, is a Kumonga man eater? is also indifferent. Um, again, it's, it's, it's like the bug characters. It, you have to do a lot for me to like really like a bug character, I guess. And again, it's like Kamakris and Kumonga, I feel, and it's funny because they're in the same movie together. Like they both debuted in the same movie. So I, I feel like they're, they're really just two and the same, you know, they're just, they're, they're just kind of there and whatever, you know? Um, so yeah. All right. Now we're moving into destroy all monsters territory when they were first introduced Varen. Now <laughs> it's hard because Varen was in, now, Varen counts because he was in destroy all monsters, even though it was for a second, he still counts. Um, but, uh, I have to go in different because I also recently watched the, the, the film Varen, um, uh, the, uh, Varen, the unbelievable or whatever. And that film is just, is also very, I'm very indifferent about it. So I feel like the character himself, because I also have to look at these as not just the characters in the movies they were portrayed in, but I have to look at it as the character overall, like regardless of incarnation, regardless of what era they were in. How do I feel about that character? I know Nick Monster Report is going to hate me for for not putting Varen at a higher at a higher rank, but um, <laughs> yeah, he's he's again, it's just indifferent. Um, not just because he was barely into strong monsters, but just because the monster himself, he's just he just doesn't do anything for me. Like he's just not. But I don't dislike him. I think he's. I mean, when he was on screen in his own movie, he was cool. But for me, it's just like, eh, you know. Maybe one day Varen will get a new lease on life. Like I would love to see Varen in the MonsterVerse. Maybe I mean you know, or or have a new film with Varen in it. I, I don't know, but okay, Baragon. Um, now the show of Baragon uh, is is pretty cool. Show of Baragon's nice. Um, and the uh, but I my favorite is the GMK Baragon. And to be honest, Baragon's great. <laughs> Baragon is great in GMK. Um, so I got to put him at, at A. And especially shout out to the suit actor, who the female suit actor, you guys seen the, the behind the scenes, you know, she had like the time of her life playing as, as Baragon. You, you see like behind the scenes, she's in there. And every time Baragon does his roar, she you hear the voice act, or not the voice actor, but you hear the suit actor go, rawr, rawr. And it's just like the funniest thing ever. So yeah, uh, Baragon has to be for great. So, uh, Monster Report, you still love your brother? Yeah, I know, man. I know. Um, Godzilla Kiryu, what's up? All right. Um, yeah, Baragon, definitely good. Okay, Manda. Um, again, Manda, short appearance in Godzilla, but started in, oh, God, what was the movie? Um, the Atragon, right? Atragon. Fly to the Atragon or something <laughs> like that? Yeah. Um, Fly to the Atragon. That film Sounds like well. a parody. Similar to Varen. Fan I'm indifferent about Manda. To, uh, Manda's just kind of been there. Atragon. I do like, I mean, the Final Wars Manda was, was pretty like cool in the beginning, but he gets, his, you know, he gets his ass kicked like super quick. So it's not, you know, that wasn't anything super, you know, interesting to me. Um, but yeah, Manda, again, just kind of there, not really doing anything. Yeah, Atragon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so... All right. Um, next, uh, Gorosaurus. Okay, Gorosaurus first introduced in King Kong Escapes, I believe, and then brought back for Destroying Monsters. Um, I, I like Gorosaurus. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but there's just something about Gorosaurus. I think it was because I think what made that character somewhat stand out to me is in Destroying Monsters when he does his jump kick like his kangaroo kick. Does, I, I can't remember if he does it in King Kong escapes, but he does. he does like this kangaroo kick on uh, King Ghidorah and it, you know, makes him fall over. And I, and it was, and as a kid, when I watched the straw monsters and I saw Gorosaurus and Godzilla stand next to each other and they like looked at each other and like, yeah, I just, I don't know. For some reason I was like, let's go. Like, I don't know. It just made me sound cool. So, or it made it, it was pretty cool. So Gorosaurus, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I like Gorosaurus. I don't know. You'd think Gorosaurus would be on indifferent, but no, I, I for some reason I like him. I don't know. <laughs> so all right. Um <laughs> to be honest, uh, I'll Matthew, play no Ion Dragon. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what why. Ion Dragon is. So I'm not really sure. Not really sure what that is. Maybe maybe clarify with me. 
Um, Godzilla Fan Freaks is in the house. Everett, what's up, man? Okay, I'm here. Show of Baragon is better. No, no, Everett. No, no. We're talking about the character themselves. We're not talking about different incarnations. We're talking about the characters themselves. So I, I think Baragon is great, regardless of era. So that should make you happy, Everett. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, next up is Gabra. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's not. He's not S tier. Gabra. You know. Okay. For me, my gut, my gut reaction for Gabra is, uh, I want because because I have a soft spot for Gabra because of Gabra's bad day, like of what I did. Um. So. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I I I like Abra. <laughs> I like him. I like Abra. <laughs> Screw it. Yeah. I, I think Abra. I don't know. He's funny. I don't know. I, I got a kick out of him when I was a kid watching yeah. Avengers. You know, I mean, he jumps on the the uh, the log and makes him fly over. You know, and and I I just I just laughed so much at that. And I mean, his roar is annoying as hell. I can't stand his roar. But Gabra, man. Chris, what's a matter of you? <sighs> okay, this is just his opinion, but I know he likes Gabba mostly because of Gabba would say, and I do find Gabba's bad day pretty funny. But oh my god, I would not put him at. I would not put him at B. I would not put him at B. F. F F F F F F F F F F F No. I despise You know what? No. Gabba doesn't even deserve to go in F. You know what Gabba goes in? He goes in Z. Actually, you know what? Not even Z. He goes in a letter bow than Z. He goes in Clef. Yes. I'm using that. He goes in Clef. He goes in clef. Gabba goes in clef. He is just terrible. He's just bad. Gabba is no. I just don't love Gabba. I just don't love Gabba. He's just no. Ugh. The only thing that I love about Gabba is Gabba Bad Days. That's about it. But that's not even the character himself. That's just a parody of Gabba. But I love Gabba's Bad Days, but the kaiju himself I don't love. He's portrayed better when it's done by either MIB or Gabba's Bad Day, but I do not love Gabba as a kaiju. I, I don't. His film is terrible. And he's honestly the worst kaiju out there. No, just... <sighs> Gabba. 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 <laughs> uh, why? Uh. I'm only 16 minutes into the video, and we're not even like halfway through the bus. Oh God, this has become a 30-minute video. I'm... Oh God. Uh, 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 let's continue. Bro, man, I don't know. Gabra's, I like Gabra, so. Um, Godzilla Q, Ion Dragon popped up in a few right? like like flashback. Head, oh, Legacy of Monsters. Oh, yeah. Gabba. But... No, I'm not really, uh, I didn't, I didn't put the Legacy of Monsters in here because the show is still going. Um, but I understand that the Ion Dragon was there. <laughs> But we haven't seen him yet. Like, I think he's being saved for the last episode. 
I mean, we've seen him, but we haven't seen him like fight. So, and and again, okay, here, here. If I'm being honest, the Ion Dragon, if he was in this list, I'd probably put him in indifferent because right now it's just a giant bat. I'm like, okay, you know, okay, cool. It's it's it doesn't really tickle my fancy. Um, okay, let's see. Um, if there was an <laughs> Everett, if there was a tier above S, this is where Gabra stands. Good lord. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, why the hate towards the giant condor, Goji Rex 28? Yeah, because I hate the giant condor. Screw that thing. It was a waste of waste of screen time. Okay. Um, Hedora. Yeah, I hate it. I love Hedora. I love it. Like, I don't know what it is about this character. I, I... I don't. I don't know what it is about Hedora, but I, I love, I love Hedora. I love I him. Don't. I just. I think he is. No, I think Hedora is the most overrated character. It's the most. It's the most overrated character. I don't love Hedora. I hate his movie. Godzilla vs. Hedora is probably the worst. One of the worst Godzilla movies, in my opinion. The only thing that's worse than Godzilla vs. Door is Godzilla's Revenge. But I'm sorry, no. Godzilla vs. Door, that movie can go to hell. I don't love that movie. Hidor is not interesting. Design wise, is good, but character wise, not, not, really, not really doing anything for me. I don't love well uh, that's not entirely true i guess the only cool scenes that he has is when he turns people into skeletons but that's only for mere seconds he only does that for mere seconds we only see glimpses of that we don't see him do that for the majority of the film the majority of the time of Hidora's screen time is him fighting Godzilla. And when he's fighting Godzilla, it's the most boring thing you've ever seen. It's the worst kaiju fights in Godzilla. They're just standing there, just doing nothing. Just doing dance moves, just standing there, nabbing at each other, like saying, I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you. Come at me, bro. You go first. No, come at me, bro. You're gonna go first. I, 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 you go. I'll fight you first if you throw the full punch. It's like they're waiting for them to throw the first punch, and neither one of them is gonna throw the first punch. So they're just standing there, menacingly, like doing nothing. Like, I know Godzilla Door has his fans, but I'm not one of them. I find Godzilla vs. Door to be the most overrated Godzilla movie, in my opinion. Even more overrated than Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. I think Godzilla vs. Door is the most overrated Godzilla movie, in my opinion. I think it's the worst... Well, maybe not the worst Godzilla movie. I think that only goes Godzilla's Revenge, but... It's the... It's second to the low. And that's... And... Even when it comes to second to the low, it's still pretty bad. I don't love this movie. It's just terrible. I hate it. I no. And Hidor is not an interesting character. I just don't love Hidor. Hidor is just um I should just uh no. No. Hidor doesn't deserve to be an S. But this is 
Goji fans to this, so I should shut up and just watch the video. Man, this is turned into like a 40... This is turned into like a 39-minute video of me ranting on Goji fans to this. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. This was supposed to be a reaction video, not me ranting on Goji fans to this. Oh, God. There are some things I like about the tier list, but... But there are some things I disagree with the tier list. But, and we're only like seven, we're only like almost 18 minutes in, and we're not even near the end. God damn it, that's gonna turn into like a three hour video. <laughs> I think he's fantastic. I think it's just the overall execution of the character, his, his whole design. Um, even though we didn't get to see a lot of his design in Final Wars, I love the Final Wars look of H Hodora. But I, but I guess we got to see a better look of him when it came to, um, you know, the the uh, what is it, um, the Godzilla versus Hodora special that was in 2021, I think it was. Yeah, for the uh, for the 50th anniversary of Hodora. So um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Hodora is just like, yeah, he's good. He is great. Um, also, am, is my mic peaking? I'm trying to make sure I'm not my mic's not like going crazy right now so i'm just trying to keep audio levels good so let me know let me know if audio levels are, are doing good so uh yes i know hedora's eyes were based on yes i know <laughs> yeah they're based on <laughs> okay guy again my man guy again got a I, s tier of course of course guy again and i would have i would have uh made it the final wars design because technically well actually technically the latest design for uh, guy again is the guy again rex look but Overall, um, overall though, I, I picked the Showa design because I feel like that's the most well-known look of Gigan. Like that's the you know most popular ones. I, I thought I'd throw that in there for you Showa fans, you know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Gigan. I mean, my man Gigan. I've said it many, many times. Gigan, Gigan, Gigan. It's just I, I, the character is so unique looking, so weird looking, but awesome. And he was the care. I think he was the monster that made Godzilla bleed for the first time. I'm, I'm pretty sure. And he was he was a tough enemy for Godzilla to face. So, yeah, um, guy again for sure. Fun fact: not that many people know this, but guy again was not actually the first monster to make Godzilla bleed. It was actually Hidor. That pains me to say this, but uh, knowing that after many years, I don't see how. Yeah, I see. He, Godzilla had some scratches on him, but he's not really gushing out blood. So, oh, um, for people who are going with the argument that no, he was a monster to make Godzilla bleed. No, I'm pretty sure it was guy again. Um, Megalon, Megalon to me is great. Not. I don't love Megalon, but I think. Me Why? Just. Uh, okay, let me hear him out. Let me hear him out. Let me hear his reasons why he put Megalon. Megalon. Megalon is still great. Remember, these two here, love and great, they're, they're still really good. Like, like if you're in these two categories, you're, you're perfect. Megalon, I really do like though. I, I like his personality in in the film. How he has this like sort of mani like sort of sinister. He like, like claps and he's he's he likes being a bad guy. You know, like I, I think I think that's what what made Megalon for me. Um, and then his uh, his new look in that animation the from the the seventieth an or no fiftieth uh, anniversary of Godzilla versus Megalon, that special. Megalon was such a badass in that. Like he, it was, he was awesome. So yeah, <laughs> look, I'm as to your Kaiji, you guys, right? You, right? You guys? Yeah. For guy again. Yep. Um, okay. Next up jet Jaguar. Okay. All right. If Godzilla fan freaks is still in this, in this chat, he, he might be a little mad at me. I like jet Jaguar. I like him. I like. I'm sorry. No, he's good. He's great. He's great. I. I. I yeah. Guy. Uh, Jet Jaguar is great. Um, I'm not a big fan though of the singular point Jet Jaguar, but I will admit, uh, regular Jet Jaguar is fantastic. And to be honest, actually, if it wasn't for the, uh, 
<laughs> there it is. Godzilla Planet Freaks. You better place JJ up in S. <laughs> um, but Jet Jaguar, if it wasn't for... Um, uh, no, Zone Fighter's not on here because Zone Fighter is his own franchise. Godzilla was a cameo in it, yes, but I don't consider Zone Fighter part of the Godzilla franchise. That's just my opinion. I, I And I'm also Zone Fighter... I don't know. I'm indifferent about Zone Fighter. It's just an Ultraman ripoff. More of an Ultraman ripoff than Jet Jaguar, really. But anyways, going back to Jet Jaguar, um, if it wasn't for the special, actually, that just came out, the operation for the Godzilla Fest thing, where, where Godzilla fought Jet Jaguar again, that we just saw in November, if it wasn't for that special, I probably would have put him in B. But because of that special, it just reminded me how cool Jet Jaguar is, and I put him in great. Not a big fan of the singular point Jet Jaguar, just because of his design. But in terms of the character overall, yeah, Jet Jaguar is great. He's he's great. So you better put him ass. Uh, okay, A is all right. Yeah, all right. Um, no. All right. Next up, Mecha Godzilla. Yeah. So Megalon. Okay, let me just get back to the thoughts on those two because Jet Jaguar. As I love Jet Jaguar. Any Jet Jaguar, I even love the single point Jet Jaguar. <laughs> As to be honest. Um, Megalon. Another controversial take. Um, F. Just F. Just F. No. Megalon is the. Another one of those overrated kaiju. He's just a giant cockroach beetle. That's about it. He has a cool design. Okay. If it wasn't... Okay. The Gemstone Megalon doesn't count because technically that's not a movie. I don't count it. As part of the Godzilla franchise, I count it as a fan short fan film. I don't count it as a movie. If you, the Gemstone, yes, it is canon to the Heisei era, but Megalon in that in that short film was pretty awesome. But if we don't count that Megalon. If that Megalon didn't exist, I would probably put Megalon. Uh, I'm going to be the jet. I, I'm kind of indifferent with Megalon, to be honest. Uh, okay, I wouldn't say I hate Megalon, but I wouldn't say I dislike him. I'll probably put him at C. I'm indifferent with Megalon because I have myths for him. On the one hand, a part of me says I really don't I can but on the other part, but on the other hand says I there's a charm to him. But on the other hand, there's a part that says I don't like him. So I'm kind of have myths feelings on. So eh. Yes, of course. I you, how could I not have one of Godzilla's most fiercest enemies be not anything less than S rank? Um, yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, Daikaiju Battle. Yeah, Daikaiju Legends better not have heard me say Zone Fighter. Not a big fan of. Yeah. Um, anyways, Mecha Godzilla. Um, yeah, Mecha Godzilla. Of course, I can't. How can I not say that? Me you know, Mecha Godzilla is great. Um, and also, and this includes all of his incarnations. Mecha Godzilla. You know, seventy five. Uh, Super Mecha Godzilla from 1993, Kiryu, the the Kiryu stuff. Um, uh, you know, even if you want to say Mecha Godzilla City from the anime trilogy, um, and then of course the Monster vs. Mecha Godzilla, the character himself, always great, always great. And so S tier for sure with Mecha Godzilla. I you can't go wrong with the character, except for Mecha Godzilla City. I guess that's one thing one way to go wrong with them. Okay, Mecha Godzilla. Um, these <laughs> Everett, these next two will decide your fate. Mecha Godzilla. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Down to last minute detail. S. S. 
every incarnation of Mechazilla, S. Just S. Okay, that's not entirely true. Um, no, not S. Every incarnation of Mechazilla is amazing. But if I had to choose which one's my favorite incarnation of Mechazilla, Q. Q's the best Mechazilla. You should use a Q. Okay. okay. King Caesar, I actually, I love King Caesar. And I'm not just doing this because Everett is in the chat and because I want to please him. No, I literally, I literally love King Caesar. As a kid, as a kid watching Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla, because Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla is actually one of, if not for the 54 film, um, is probably up in my top three Showa Godzilla films. And so um, King Caesar, when I first saw him as a kid, it, he actually, not, not only terrified me, but at the Showa same films. time was just like, I, I, I don't know. I fell in love with this character. And then, you know, seeing him in Final Wars, not so big on the design because his eyes were like really human-like and it was kind of freaky looking. But um, I do love him in Final Wars too. Like his fight with Godzilla where it was like a, a four-way battle, like that was freaking awesome too. So I can't wait for next year because it technically then will, I'm yeah, it'll be King Caesar's 50th anniversary. So I'm hoping Toho will do something either Sudimation or uh, CGI um, to, to do some with him. But yeah, King Caesar is freaking awesome. Okay. I'm hoping for CGI. Um, <laughs> yeah, Godzilla fan freaks. Good. Good. I was hoping Godzilla City would transform to Mecha Godzilla. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, Caesar, over Mecha, uh, Caesar over Megalon is wild. Eh, it's my opinion, man. I don't know. I like, I like if, if I had to pick between the two, I'd, I'd pick King Caesar, man. I would, you know? Um, all right. <laughs> Pardon me, love. Caesar and oh, Everett, Everett, Everett. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a hot take. This is a hot take. I I don't like Titanosaurus. I don't. Um, it's his roar. His roar was one of the things that I couldn't stand. I did like I I I can't stand his roar. And what really annoyed me was that Titanosaurus basically took over the film of Ty Terror Mechagodzilla. The <laughs> Mechagodzilla didn't have, like, he just stood there in the back while Titanosaurus was the one that dealt with Godzilla. And, and I, 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 that frustrated me so much. And so as a kid, Titanosaurus was just never that. Another reason I dislike Titanosaurus, and this is more of a personal thing for me. I know, guys, I know, I know a lot of people are... <laughs> I, a lot of people are, are, are going to hate me right now. You hate Titanosaurus? But another reason I hate, not hate, I dislike Titanosaurus is because in Godzilla Unleashed, first, I don't know, I don't know what the developers did with Titanosaurus's AI in Godzilla Unleashed, but he is a bastard in Unleashed. He is not fun to fight. He is extremely annoying to fight. So I've just had this this you know relationship with titanosaurus where i've just never liked him <laughs> so, yeah i know that's gonna be that's gonna be one of those hot takes titanosaurus i don't like titanosaurus i know that is a that, that is, is a, hot take. a lot of people are gonna get pissed at me for that but I, got, I gotta be honest guys i gotta be honest i gotta be honest so um yeah i guess i'm banned from the next uh tucson kaiju festival damn it ah bummer all right oh well <laughs> Best character unleashed? Hell no, man. What are you talking about, Everett? No, no way. Titanosaur. No. Okay, moving on. Let's get into the Heisei stuff. All right. All right. Biolante. Biolante is great. Uh, Biolante is great. Yes. Um, I, I'm not going to put love because Biolante was mainly. Does, obviously, it's a giant puppet. Like very hmm. amazing in terms you, of the behind the scenes of uh, it. But the monster That's herself, nice. right? We remember, we got to remember the, the like what we saw on the screen. I mean, she didn't really do much. She just could have sit stand there, and then she did like a charge a little bit. But there's not much that she can do. But again, still a great monster, fantastic monster. I think an amazing monster to introduce Godzilla to the Heisei series, or at least like the first you know Heisei enemy 
um, is fantastic. Also, the the super X's aren't in this because they're not kaiju and they're they're like more that that could be for like another list or something. But um, but yeah, and I know a lot of I know a lot of fans would say that Bailante's S tier, and I would tol I totally understand that. For me, uh, she just doesn't hit that that mm kind of mark if that makes sense, you know. Um, but Bailante is still fantastic. Nah, Bailante. Right, Dorats. I love Bailante. I like the Dorats. I do like the Dorats. I know I know the Dorats get a lot of flack. I don't know why, but um, I just think they're really adorable. They're really cute. They're so cute. I love the Dorats. So Dorats, definitely in the B rank for sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is Titano the new bastard face to replace? No, Destroy is still bastard face. Yeah, that that's that's always a thing. That'll always be a thing. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, where are we at now? Oh yeah, Mecha King Ghidorah. Okay, yeah, Mecha King Ghidorah. Definitely uh, love. <laughs> love for sure because the thing is how can i put you know why would i put king Ghidorah as s and not put <laughs> mecha king Ghidorah? because literally mecha king Ghidorah is literally you know like the next level of of king Ghidorah. oh yeah i know a lot of people are now <laughs> everett dorats over titano yeah of course yes exactly yes i have i yes 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 everett's look he's he's never gonna let never let me uh live this down now he, he will always always hate me for the fact that i don't like titanosaurus but i thought you knew that man i thought you knew i had i had a distaste for just anyways moving on all right batra batra you know i've always uh i i uh, do i love or like batra love or like i'm trying to remember the film and just trying to think of everything He's only been he's only been in the in the one film, right? I don't think he's he hasn't been in anything else, right? Batra's been a one-off character. Oh man. He was in the game. No, Gizora no, Gizora does not count. Gizora was in Space Amoeba. Yeah, so no, it doesn't count. Nope. Even if it's a even if it's a cameo. Um I'm you know, my gut reaction is saying great. Batra's great, but not I don't love Batra. But Batra is still awesome, like super awesome. The theme song of Batra is amazing. Um, that is for sure. Yeah, uh, I yes, love what I love. Uh, Batra is badass Batra, for sure. Yeah, Goth, like Goth. What, what, what was the joke? I want to put him. Yeah, Goth. I think that was at Monster Island Buddies made a joke like that. Fear Batra. Yeah, I'm probably gonna see that all in the uh, comments here of the Fear Batra thing. So, Fear Batra. Um, all right, making sure my my stuff is good here. Okay. Um. Oh, what about boys. Mephiles? Okay, now we're we're gonna get to some of the MonsterVerse monsters. Not all the MonsterVerse Titans are gonna be in this because I, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Just give me a sec. We're we're almost out of Heisei era stuff. Okay, Space Godzilla. Duh, actually, duh, like, duh. If you guys know me, Space Godzilla, like, obviously, is number one for me at, of like all. So. Yeah, I don't have to explain it. Space Godzilla is just a badass. No, I'll explain it. No, Space Godzilla is a badass because, to me, it's like it's sort of a, it's sort of a. Uh, I'm kind of cheating because literally, um, you know, Space Godzilla is Godzilla, right? So I can have my cake and eat it too. You know, like my favorite Godzilla kaiju is still sort of a Godzilla character, so or like a Godzilla-like monster. Um, but of course, I you know I love Space Godzilla also because he is he is such a villain. Sort of like similar to how Megalon was this devious villain in the Showa series, Space Godzilla kind of had that that same um, attitude. You know, like he comes down, he he just wants to take over the Earth. He sets up his empire, at his like throne and his whatever, and then he he literally um, kidnaps Godzilla's son. And I mean, it's like, yeah. And it, and it was a full throwdown at the end when it came to uh, Mogira trying to face off with him and all that. Like, it, it, like, just I love it. And I know that the film itself has a lot of naysayers. I love the film. I love Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. I think it's an underrated Heisei film. That's just my opinion. But Space I Godzilla agree with that. I wouldn't say it's one of the best. Mogira. I do think it's underrated. I dislike Mogira. Yes. Um, Mogira is literally a poor man's Mecha Godzilla. I don't. I understand that maybe they were just trying to pull from the the Toho vaults and let's bring this random character from the Mysterians and put him in and make a Heisei version of him. But like, ah, I don't know. Like he he's 
I li- here's the thing if we were if we were counting the video game version of meg of mogira i would like him more because of the whole like you know he did like that mogira mogira thing like that was cool but in terms of the um hey lewis duran is in the chat what's up man what's up um but in terms of the character himself uh i just not meg mogira's just never done it for me and like i was and when as a kid watching godzilla versus space godzilla when mogira got his ass handed to to him and like he got Space Godzilla. Okay, let me think. Um, I'm pausing it every now and then. Uh, what I think of Mecha King Godzilla, of the Heisei ones. Um, I always said my piece on Biolante. Biolante does be an S. I love Biolante. I just love her design and her character herself. Betra, I agree. Great, but not the best. Mecha King Ghidorah, I wouldn't put an S. I'd probably put him in great. Space Godzilla. <sighs> I don't know. I, it's between S and A. One of these two. Guts, and he's getting two Godzilla Jr. And Mogila. Let's. He got impaled by Space Godzilla's tail and Mogera. thrown around. I was like, yeah! You know, I wasn't rooting for Mogera. So, yeah, I've never... I, no, Mogera's... Bleh, 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 bleh. Godzilla Jr. Great. Godzilla Jr.'s great. Actually, no. He's... I love him. I love him now. Because of the animation. The anime... Or no, the, the, uh, the gemstone animations that have come out. Because... They, they're continuing the Heisei series, essentially, because Godzilla Jr. has been confirmed to be the gemstone Godzilla that's been in those animations. So, yeah, yeah, I love him. I love Godzilla Jr. I've always, like, I lo- he's great. And even in the film, in Destroya, um, he put up a good fight. I mean, he put up a great fight dur- during that, that first encounter, you know? Um, so, for sure, man. Like, love Godzilla Jr. All right. Nice. Um, Destroya. 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 No. Is is great. Yes, Destroya is great. I can't deny. Um, I agree I with Godzilla know. Junior. Gemstone Godzilla is Junior. Yes, it is. It has been confirmed that it is. It is Junior. Yes. Go go search it up. I am not wrong with this. I, it is facts. People, back me up. Back me up. <laughs> <laughs> gemstone guy it is yes um anyways destroy uh destroy is great um yeah destroy is great i i mean he's yes, you know but i think he was a, a perfect like villain to overcome great to like do a full circle no, in terms of true. finishing out the hasty series he's way and more at the time people. finish out the franchise as a whole um i think it was clever to make a monster out of the oxygen destroyer so um yeah Destroy is great. And also his design is cool. Technically, he doesn't really do much in the film because it's a giant suit and it's really hard for the suit actor to move around. And and yes, technically, Destroy to get killed by the military. So he's kind of a weak monster in terms of that. But I'll give him a break. He's still he's still pretty cool. Okay. Uh-oh, Luther and Zilla better to be on S tier. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Um. All right. <sighs> Zilla. Zilla Zilla. Zilla Zilla. Zilla Zilla Zilla. What do I what what do I think of you? What do I think of you? I there's copyright music playing right now. Hold on. Let me uh let me switch this. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um ah. Zilla Zilla Zilla. I like I like Zilla. I do. I like him. Not great. Definitely not S tier. Sorry, Lewis. <laughs> Sorry, Lewis Duran. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I don't know. Like the the 1998 film is is entertaining to me. I, I I've never uh, like back in the day. I think like when I first started my um, my channel, I was. I was very, very against 1998, but I think that was just because I was trying to, I was just like one of those fanboys or whatever that was like, oh, 98, blah, blah, blah. 
I was try I was being very elitist about it, I guess. But now, over the years, I've really come to just appreciate the character as as what he is. And and I I will you know I I won't refer to him as Godzilla. I will always say that Zilla. But even in terms of what he was supposed to be, which was Godzilla, I I, I still think that Zilla's pretty cool. Like I, I don't know, I, Zilla's cool. He's like a he's like a beefed up beast from Twenty Thousand Fathoms. You know, that's a, that's another thing a lot of people like to say. You know, is that nineteen ninety eight was more of a remake of Beast from Twenty Thousand Fathoms rather than Godzilla. And and to be honest. If that's the case, then that's cool. But I like them. I like Zilla. Uh, in terms of the um, babies, um, <laughs> Zilla over Titanosaurs. Jeez, what a world! I know, right? I know what what a world. What a world. Um, what a world. Zilla over Titanosaurs. I'm indifferent about the babies <laughs> of Zilla. I, I think I think that last part was sort of a. It was just pushed in there just to compete with Jurassic Park. But at the same time, there are really funny scenes with the babies where they're like eating the cotton candy and the and the the you know all all the merchandise that when they're in the elevator, um, that was funny. Uh, they're just mini they're just mini Zillas. So I mean, it's like all right, they're they're fine, they're fine, it's fine. Oh, um, also this list does not include Hanna Barbera characters or Godzilla the series characters because um, there's where way too many, and I did forget. Damn it. I did forget about the singular point one, the the guy that I thought was uh, Gabra, but it's actually this other character from singular point. Regardless, singular point, I don't know, a lot of it just kind of put him in indifferent, I guess, or maybe like, I don't know, but okay. Um, okay, even the babies over Titanosaurus, you're absolutely destroying me. <laughs> Everett, I don't know when you will learn that I am just not, I, I show us stuff. Just, it, it's, you know, some of the show us stuff, man, just doesn't get me like it does for you, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Org is in the house. Okay, here we go. Sorry, MIB. I love you. Love you. Okay. Um, All right. Orga, here we go. I think Orga's great. Orga's great. Yes, Orga's great. Not, I don't love him. I don't love Orga, but he's still great. Um, Just on the fact that I think the design alone is really cool. His, his attacks, I mean, he gave Godzilla a good run for his money, you know? Um, and uh, I, I really wish, I really wish that we would have been able to see some of the, um, the, more of the transformation when he was absorbing Godzilla's cells. I would have loved to see more of Orga turning into Godzilla. I think that would have been so cool. So, yeah. Um, okay. Megagirus. I dislike Megagirus. Megagirus... <laughs> has never done anything for me and it's similar sorry everett similar to titanosaurus mega megagirus is just I, there's nothing about the character that i really like and also um she was another bastard face in unleashed i can't stand megagirus in godzilla unleashed trying to face off against her like um what was that level there was an actual there was a level here i, I can't remember it but in in the campaign when you're going through there was a, uh, it's a side mission, like an optional mission that you can do. And I think it was called, it was called teaming up or some like whatever. And you literally had to fight Titanosaurus and Megagirus at the same time. And they were on the same team. So it was you against both of them. And that level, that, that fight pissed me off so much while playing Unleashed. So, so it's literally Titanosaurus and Megagirus that are like the annoying characters in my head that I'm just like, get away. I don't want to fight. So yeah i've never i don't know and again it's just a bug monster i don't know there's something with i don't know there's something with bug characters that i just don't gravitate towards i don't really know why it's it's weird and i also have an yes yeah, samuel g or samuel g 2000 i do have this weird problem with flying monsters i don't know i don't know what's about it all gonna make us or i agree great not the best but great mega gears I wouldn't say I dislike him. I probably put Megu as that like. I wouldn't. No, I. No, 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 no. Why Megu as a dislike? Come on, Megu as a dislike. Dislike. I I don't know. I just have a soft spot for 
Godzilla vs. Mechagirus. A part of me actually loves Mechagirus. I don't know why. I just love Mechagirus. To be honest, I would put Mechagirus at S tier. I just love Mechagirus. <laughs> to be honest, I just love her. She is so fun. I love Mechagirus. Perfect. I just love that movie. I don't know what is it with Godzilla vs. Mechagirus. I just love that movie. I, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I just love Godzilla vs. Mechagirus. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. <laughs> it, but, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yes, Reptile 78, 76. Ganging Up. That was the uh, that was the level called Ganging Up. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, duh. Sorry, Everett. I know, I know. But Monster X slash Kaiser Ghidorah, and technically, you could technically say Kaiser Ghidorah is King Ghidorah. It's kind of the same thing. But for me, I don't know. For some reason, Monster X just seems like that different. Where um, they're just they're just badass. I I, I, just, I get I, every time. I watch Final Wars, and again, I love Final Wars. So that, so that's also Everett's just going to continue to get, um, you know, he's going to continue to get uh, triggered over here. But every time I watch Final Wars, and when when Monster X descends behind Godzilla, it is the most I get, I, oh, I get so chills with it. I'm like, oh my god, here yes. we go. And then Monster X himself is just so freaking cool. And then Kaiser Ghidorah pops out, and it's like, oh my god, yeah, um, yeah. Let's see, Goji Rex 28. So a Wii game is why you hate them. No, absolutely not. A Wii game is... No, no, no. Just because Godzilla Unleashed is on the Wii has nothing to do with me hating those characters. It's because what they are in the game, that they're annoying. They're just annoying to fight. I don't know. It's my own personal vendetta with them. But anyways, going back to um, Monster X and Kaiser Ghidorah. Freaking love those characters. I, I, I don't know. They're just... They are... Ugh love them i used to have an x plus figure of kaiser Ghidorah. that was a fantastic figure by the way i i loved him and i actually i was gonna get the monster x one i actually think i did have him but then i sold him right away like he, i think he was still in the box yeah and of course yeah everett over here he's just final word yeah he's just you know you know everett maybe in your chat you have more fans that like your, you know the show of stuff but on my live streams my fans we're millennium lovers so you just take your little take your little final wars hatred and just and just go go cry in the corner because because my fans we love we love final wars right we love final wars guys yeah we do yeah, yeah we, do. we love final right. wars final wars is, is okay, next, only one um, movie better than a little bit of wars. the uh, anime okay. trilogy um they're just i mean i don't i can't even remember what they're called what these things were called um Oh, Everett. Wow. Now you're calling out my fans. Ooh, that's not a good idea. Now you're, you're playing with fire. That's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, these things were from the, the planet of the monster or the, you know, the Godzilla anime trilogy. Um, I, I, they're just, I, I, bleh, bleh, uh, I don't know. Bleh, so that's okay. The mutos, the mutos, The Mutos, the first Mutos, like the the ones from 2014. Um, hmm. They're great. I'm not going to say I love them. They're great. Yeah. The Mutos are great. Yeah. Um, I, I think they were fantastic new additions to the Godzilla enemy roster. Um, so, and... Uh, they gave Godzilla a good run for his I movie too in that film as well. Seven, and I, and I, I feel like they did I more. And, I, and again, bit. here's oh, now we're getting into the MonsterVerse so. stuff. So now I can explain myself of like why there's not a lot of MonsterVerse things here. Just let me explain here. So <clears throat> I'm not going to put uh, like Muto Prime because he wasn't in a movie. Okay. He was in the comic books and I don't consider the comic books and the novel, like things like that to, to have a lot of weight, to be honest. Because I want to see it in the official, like, properties or like the the official things that they come out in, right? Um, now here, like Behemoth, I think this is this character's name. Behemoth, I'm indifferent. This other character, I'm indifferent. 
Doug. Oh, God, we'll get to Doug. Okay, a skull crawler. Um, well, I mean, in Skull Island they were cool, but in in Godzilla vs Kong, it was sort of they were just there. I'm just gonna say indifferent again. These creatures that showed up in the film, the crab, I don't know, indifferent. These bats from Godzilla vs Kong, indifferent. Like they just, oh, they're just these monsters. Like, and they just do these weird, 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 weird. Oh god. <laughs> I just realized. Oh God! It took me this long to realize he forgot Methuselah. <laughs> oh God! You forgot to pay Methuselah. Oh God! That's gonna be a lot of people mad in the comment section. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to know that? I mean, I read the comic, but I got. I don't know. I just already forgot too much, but um, like, I don't, I don't know. Like I, I, it's just the monster verse Titans. Like they made this giant deal about in King of the monsters. They're like, there's all these Titans and they're, they're, they're and they don't do anything with them. So to me, I'm just indifferent about them. I don't hate them. I don't like them. They're just whatever the war bats. No, they're right here. Aren't these the war bats? I, I, Oh, you mean the war bats from, Oh shit. I did forget them. Well, anyways, the war bat would be an indifferent as well. Literally every monsters Titan that isn't like a, you know, a, a main so. character is in indifferent. So just take every Titan that's in the thing and just pff, indifferent. That's how I feel about it. So Doug, I'm, all, I'm also indifferent about him. I know right now, I, I think the reason why Doug is more popular is because, um, it's a meme at this point. And to me, a meme doesn't count towards, um, you know, certain like liking that certain character. So that's, that's just, you know, that. So no, I'm not putting Doug in S just because he's a meme. That's, that's ridiculous guys. Stop that. Um, okay. Now spoiler territory, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows about this. I, I, I mean, if you haven't, I'm sorry, but it's the toys have, been the toys are out everyone's talking about it so i really don't feel like i need to be having like a spoiler alert here because pretty much this is what it is so godzilla's son uh so, i don't know what's his name soon soon whatever um again I, I i gotta i gotta put in different because we don't really know we don't know how the son of kong is going to play into the movie we don't really know how he's gonna how he's going to act. Um, but also the idea of a son of Kong just isn't something that I wanted in the monster verse. It's like, I don't, we don't need another son of Godzilla or son of Kong. Like, I, I don't feel like there's a need for that. Um, I, I feel like there's too much. Um, there's already too many monsters in the new empire as it is. And I'm just, I'm not really, it's whatever. <laughs> okay. Now here's the thing, guys. Scar King. I know again, the film hasn't come out, so it's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> but judging on the trailers, I dislike him. <laughs> I I disliked Scar King so far. So far. Again, again, this is this is not really seeing the film. I know it's not fair. I trust me, I know it's not fair. Technically, I should he should be an indifferent. But I, I just, guys, he's a balding old ape. How is this monster supposedly the toughest enemy that's ever been? Like, give me a break. Come on. It, no, 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 no. Don't give me that. I just, no, I can't. So um, uh, where's Jet? Uh, Jet is right here. He's in A. He's in A tier. Yeah. Um, but anyways, again, I know it's not fair. I really, I, I really know it's not fair to judge this character already, but he's just so unremarkable. I'm like, oh my God, a bad Kong. Wow. Like, guys, sir, what's there to be really that excited about? You know? Now, this other character... Sum sumo sum suni see i haven't memorized these characters names because they're they're just they're not out yet or really again indifferent because we don't know how he's going to play into the movie i'm assuming he's the godzilla antagonist for 
the new empire because Kong has Star King and now we have this other guy for you know for Godzilla Shimu. Yeah, that's right, Shimu. By the way, Shimu. That sounds like a shampoo product, doesn't it? Like Shimu, make your hair <laughs> more luscious. I don't know. It just <laughs> okay, so, oh God. um again, I I mean I indifferent because the film hasn't come out yet and I don't really know what to judge. I mean he could be I actually agree with most of these. I don't except for the skull quote. I'll probably put skull quote either one. I'll probably put that in B. But for the rest of these, I don't really care about them. Skull King and Shimu, I wouldn't put them in different. I'll give them a lot more hate. I don't love them. I hate them. I don't. F, F, Skull King, F. Bottom. Just bottom tier. No. Just no. Be A tier for all I know after the film comes out. He could be a really awesome bad guy, or he could be, I hate this guy. So right now, the only fair thing is to put him in indifferent because that's just where he's at so um that's yeah that's kind of it so yeah but that's it guys that does it i did my uh, tier, the tier list for my um favorite monsters of the godzilla franchise okay again the monsterverse stuff gets really weird because it's a shared universe between godzilla and kong so it's like technically you know they're kind of sharing stuff but godzilla was still in it so it's to me, it kind of counts, I guess. I, I don't really know. Um, but that's that's pretty much it, guys. So this sort of format, I was I thought it was fun to do a live stream for it because I get to talk to you guys and it's sort of this, you know, just fun thing to do. Um, so I think, uh, you know, I, I, if you guys want to see more of this type of content um, going forward, I, I, I think it's fun. So just let me know, you know, if, if you want... <laughs> Godzilla fan freaks, terrible opinions and tier list. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> well, the good thing is this tier list is actually um, available publicly. So if you want to go in and make your own tier list off of mine and show me your different opinions, please do so. Go in the comments below. Um, I, I I don't think I have a, a link for it yet, but I'll, I'll put a link where this tier is tier link is available. Um, but um, I do I do I did make it publicly available for people to. Um, make their own tier list on it so um yeah but what i plan on doing is now since i have this tier list i plan on utilizing this at for my top 10 so like really you can already see what my top 10 is it's going to be the first top the first 10 of these guys except for godzilla godzilla doesn't count but technically you could assume okay these are my top 10 so um i i think i'll make a separate video that that One. goes into that yeah. or i might do some kind of clip thing. Who knows? Again, One, I'm I'm trying different two, things now. Two, I'm I'm trying four, different types of content. So I hope you guys seven, enjoy eight, this style. Nine, Maybe I don't know. So just let me know. Um, and yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for joining the stream. Who was who is here? And uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned on the channel for more stuff. Again, uh, it's a new year, and I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting ride. Um, but that is it for me guys. Uh, yeah. So leave in the comments below your tier list. After you've done one, I'll put in the com I'll, I'll make sure I put in the uh, link where you can go to this tier maker, um, and, and do your own list and show me it and show me what your opinions are. And I'm pretty sure Everett will literally have everything flipped. He'll put all the final Wars characters on F and he'll put all the show characters, especially Titanosaurus on S. I just know he will. <laughs> so, all right, man. Um, but cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as all. Oh God, it cut off again. <laughs> it cut off again when he said, why does it always do that in the live streams? Like, is that just a running gag now? <laughs> oh God. So, um, Let's turn it into an hour and 23 minute video. Did not want it to turn into an hour and 20 minute video. Oh, a 50 minute video. I uh, had to rant a little bit on some of the pickings. But for the most part, I agree with the tier list. That's why it's from my drawer and Gabba and some of the other. I mean, not Titan Source because I don't like Titan Source either. <laughs> <clears throat> But 
can you? Uh, I I don't know what to say. This is easy. Yeah. No way, nine. I thought it was my mom. Anyway, perfect. It, it's uh, this tier list is good. It's a good tier list, but it has a lot of stuff that makes me trigger. <laughs> A lot of stuff that I don't agree with, like Hidora and Gabba. Especially Hidora and Gabba. Hidora and Gabba. I just don't love. And Mecha Gears, I don't love. I just don't love them. Why Mecha Gears? No, I love Mecha Gears. Mecha Gears is awesome! Oh, don't you love the fight from God's Love versus Mega Gears? Uh, isn't that fight awesome? Don't you? Uh, uh. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video here before it gets any longer. But this is Anagoji signing off. Remember, stay big, G fans.